Go ahead, David. Um, for identity, the ones I think about the most mm -hmm. in my religion because I feel like it really, I really, that's how I base myself because there's a lot of morals and values that come with being Christian. And I feel like if I do certain things, it'll change their, the people's views on me. The ones I don't think about the most are my national origin, probably because I don't really know what where like, I originate from. And for skill, the most challenging skill for me to master throughout the entire year was probably writing the premise statements because for my PDAs, I would do good with the claim, like as you can see there, I got an 85 on that. But then my premise statement was probably, it was the lowest and my PDAs always go downhill from there because whenever I would write my premise statement, I would overwrite and then I would literally miss the topic that I'm supposed to be writing about. So that would ruin the entire essay and then I would get really low scores. I think there's only one PDA I got a good score on and that's because I actually asked for help with the premise statement, but I was always scared to ask for help because I feel like it would make me look like I don't know what I'm doing. They're probably asking for help with the best thing to do. For intellect, the most transformative would, would have been like in my positionality. Um, for the op-ed, I had wrote about gun violence and how racism is like, sometimes motivated behind it like with the recent shooting but i feel like if people were like, taught more about gun violence and how effective it could be we could like really minimize it critically um but maybe will we will we um for parable of the solar in my daily notes of 228 i think the most empathetic part about it was when I, for equity, I had wrote that they had to wake up to the sound of gunshots. And I feel like that really hit me because I don't think anyone should ever have to wake up scared for their life. Like that's the first thing you wake up and you're thinking of. And then there's also children around them. So the children that can also mess up their entire life because just one incident could ruin them. Um, the project I was most proud of was my positionality essay because I feel like I actually showed my true ability with writing and that's probably the highest score I've ever gotten on an assignment because I got the closest to an A and I was able to really speak my mind and I actually hit all the key points. I missed a few things. I forgot to interrogate my, interrogate my norms into it but that's all I missed, but I was still proud of it. What helps me learn is seeing other people's perspectives on things, because whenever I see other people's perspectives on like a certain situation, it makes me wonder why I think the way I think about what, I, what my opinion is, and then it makes me wonder why they think that certain way. So asking questions about why they think in that certain way also helps me learn. But these improvement is my PBAs because they just weren't good at all this year. Um, I never, with the PBAs, I never asked for help at all. Like she would give opportunities for me to come and like ask for help on like the claim and stuff. And I still wouldn't take the opportunities. I think it was my pride that the reason why I wouldn't because I was too stuck in my head, like, if I'm going to do the correct without help, that I didn't ask for help, and not asking for help made an impact on my grade and the PBAs. For the previous cover letters, I did go to all of them. Um, I think probably because I did what I was actually supposed to do, and I didn't procrastinate, and I actually read read the instructions and then skip over stuff that I didn't feel like doing. Reflecting on this year, I realized I did not use my full potential. I used to be a straight A student and as soon as I got here, everything just, everything just dropped. Cause I expected it to be easy, 
but and I expected everything to like be handed to me. Well, not handed to me, but I expected to get a lot more passes. But coming to high school, I realized that it's all based off of my decisions. Like the colleges I want to get into is all based off of how I do. So if I don't use my full potential, then I'm not going to be able to get into it. And I can't blame anyone but myself because it's all on me. Um, what I've learned about myself throughout this school year is I've learned that I am a procrastinator and I'm very unorganized when it comes to time management and getting stuff done on time. Last year, I think even though we were in, even though we were virtual, I was a lot more organized. But this year, since we were back in school, I thought I had it all together when I actually didn't have anything together. And my goals for sophomore year is to have straight A's and to, yeah, to get back to straight A's and to probably be inducted into NHS because I know I'm able to get straight A's. It's all based off of me though, because if I want to get straight A's, but obviously I didn't, so yeah. Wonderful. Come from Oregon.